we need to get ourselves all trained up on the aircraft, all the aircraft operational, and then we can start using them. At the moment, we're very reliant on falling back on the Trialander, and that obviously will go with time. Yeah, it's been a, a very challenging period for us. Um, not been the easiest. Um, we've had not just issues with the aircraft, but with the training side of things. That's been the biggest thing that people don't see is the training side. Um, the type ratings, um, it's not because we haven't got our own training organisation to do type ratings, that we have to rely on other companies. Um, hence why we've had to rely on the company from Portugal, um, which has not been the easiest task for us. Uh, it's been very challenging. The problem is getting the change sorted because once we start flying the Dornier, we can't fly the Trialander. So some people have gone across to join some new people and some of us are left to the rear vanguard to keep the Trialander going until we can move across as well. Most of the Trialander crew have flown single crew most, most or all of their career. Therefore, we haven't got experience of two crew. So before we can go in command, we've got to do 500 hours as two crew, which is likely to take us a year and a half just to learn the two crew part. I think we've proved we can probably fly. We can get the aircraft in and out, and I don't foresee flying the, the Dornier is going to be any different to us flying the Trialander, but we just have to learn to actually be able to talk to somebody else without falling out with them. <laughs>